Why do some call the neutrino the cosmic ghost? All matter, from our bodies to the air we breathe, is composed of fundamental particles like electrons, quarks, and neutrinos. These were forged in the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago and throughout the universe's evolution. The neutrino is a unique particle. It has no electrical charge and an extremely tiny mass. It interacts using only two fundamental forces, gravity and the weak force. Because its mass is minuscule, its gravity is undetectable. It travels near the speed of light. As for the weak force, interactions are incredibly rare, occurring only if a neutrino passes exceptionally close to another particle. With almost no constraints, neutrinos rarely interact with matter. They pass effortlessly through atoms, planets, and stars, like a ghost through a wall. In the time it takes to blink, tens of billions pass right through your body. We feel nothing. This is why they've earned the nickname Cosmic Ghosts. However, they play a critical role in the universe's evolution, assisting in the formation of stars, galaxies, and fundamental elements. We live in a world of matter, but scientists believe both matter and antimatter existed in the early universe. The antimatter vanished. It's now thought neutrinos may hold vital clues to this mystery, making their study crucial. So, how were neutrinos discovered? It began in the late 19th century, when researchers studying beta decay found a strange phenomenon. When a neutron decays into a proton and an electron, conservation laws predict the electron's energy. But measurements consistently showed the energy was less than predicted. It seemed energy was vanishing. In 1930, physicist Wolfgang Pauli proposed a hypothesis. A third, undetected particle carried away the missing energy and momentum. He described a new particle with no charge, little or no mass, and a spin of one half. In 1934, Enrico Fermi expanded on this theory and named it the neutrino, Italian for little neutral one. Although predicted, it took 26 years to find it. In 1956, physicists Clyde Cowan and Frederick Raines used a detector near a nuclear reactor to observe antineutrinos. That year became the year of the neutrino. Today, China's Jiangmen Underground Neutrino Observatory, Juno, 700 meters underground, is scheduled to begin research. It aims to be the first to determine the neutrino mass ordering and will measure oscillation parameters to an unprecedented 1% precision.